If you're planning to create an ebook or thinking to repurpose your content, or even in the process of writing a book, you should check this tutorial on a great tool called Designer. Designer is a powerful content repurposing tool that not only creates ebooks, but also blog posts, all from different content sources. Designer is a great tool for transforming your content into short ebooks, PDF files, Kindle books, and flip books. I also love the fact that I can download the formatted files to any drive I want, share the files in multiple places, and also create content upgrades to go along with blog posts and training courses. Designer pricing starts at $29 as a one-time payment per user. They do not have any free versions, but you can try this with a seven-day free trial. I will provide a link in the description, and this link will provide you with a special price of $27 a month, and this is a lifetime offer. How to create your first ebook with designer. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process of creating your ebook with designer from scratch. First things first, you need to start the creation process and you can do that simply by clicking the start new project button and then choose the import option or you can even start from a template. Remember that designer is a tool for laying out your ebook quickly and easily. You should already have your content ready to go, but in this example, we'll import a post from our blog. Here's an example post from our website, and I'll copy the URL into my clipboard. Then back in Designer, I'll paste it here and click Fetch. I can also add a second or third URL here if I want to group a bunch of blog posts together in the same ebook. But for now, let's start with this one and then click next. Note that your source content is stored in the drafts tab here. So you can go back to it and make changes if needed. Now on this screen, you can choose a template, but before you do, you can preview a template in advance to see if it fits your needs. And it's important not to get hung up on templates as you can change them afterwards and you can also change anything in the styling too. What you can also change here is the page size. For instance, if you are in the United States, you probably want to select letter or if you are outside the United States, perhaps A4. And again, this can be changed afterwards. So don't worry about making the right decision now. Select this template and click Use. Now your content is now combined with the template and opened in what we call the Design Editor. And here you can begin making changes to the layout of the ebook. Start from the top and work down because our technology will constantly repaginate pages. And when you change things like fonts and images and add and remove paragraphs, We'll keep repaginating your ebook so that everything is laid out correctly. Take a note of these important points in order to start with your font style size and spacing and get that all done. Using the left panel and then note the make changes to all element toggle, which means if you want to make any global changes, then keep it to all elements. But if you want to make a change just to one element, then switch it off. Now set your chapter headings and section headings to H2 and H3, and then add and adjust images. And then finally adjust your headers, footers, and change the cover pages now. When you're happy with your ebook, it's time for the last step, which is publishing. And all you need to do is to click the publish button, choose the format, and you want your ebook to be in, for example, PDF, and then click export. Of course, you can go back into your project, make more changes, and publish again at any time. So there you are with your first ebook. How to create an ebook from a Google document. In this video, you will learn firstly how to prepare your Google document for importing, and secondly, 
how to get the document into design. So first, let's prepare the Google document ready for the import. Let's start by removing the table of contents. And this is because designer will recreate one for you. Remove the headers and footers and designer will also create headers and footers automatically. So we don't need them in the source document. Make chapter headings H2 and section headings H3. And this is so the import will recognize a new chapter and sections automatically now split any larger blocks of text into two or more paragraphs. And this will make your document easier to read. Keep any existing lists on one page so they are not a split into two lists when in the project. So now the document is prepared and let's get it imported. First, click the share button at the top of your Google Doc and change the status to anyone with the link and copy the link now in Designer. Click create new project and select import from Google Doc and now paste the link. Click fetch and when it's ready, click next. The next step is to choosing a template designer. This will import your content and combine it with a template layout. So let's go with this one, then make any desired changes or even customizations like changing the title. Then finally click publish and export. Now you can review your ebook in PDF format, and that's how to create an ebook from a Google Doc. Before we get to the next section of the tutorial, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button to my channel and support it. Let's move forward. In this video, we are going to talk about a new feature called Flipbooks. And essentially, a flipbook will convert your PDF into an actual flippable online book that you can share with anyone. So here's a project and this project I've just imported from a blog post and it's called 10 Steps Catapult Your Online Business with Content Marketing. And it's just a really good quality in-depth ebook. And so basically this book is now converted into PDF. Let's click on the PDF and have a look at it. Okay, and the new feature here is an extra icon next to the PDF one called Open PDF in Flipbook. And when you click on that, then you see it opens as a book. And when you click the right and left arrows, it flips your work as if you are actually reading it. So now those various controls here at the bottom, for example, I can click play and it will automatically play the book for me. I can zoom in and zoom out. There is a navigation view where I can click, click on groups of images. I grow two pages here on the left. I can obviously download it and print it. I can even turn the sound on and off. So every time you flip the book, it makes this flipping sound, which is very cool. So essentially what is really good is that you can take this link and you can share this with anyone and they will have access to this book online. Meaning you don't have to download the PDF, you don't have to store it anywhere, and you don't have to worry about the size of the PDF also. You can just share this link and it will be received and displayed just like this on anyone's browser. And the most exciting part is that it works really well on mobile phones like iPhones and Androids because when they get this link, they can actually view this because it's an online document. And then you don't have all the issues of opening the PDFs locally on your cell phones. So that's it for today. That's the new feature called Flipbook. And this is available to all the pro users. Thanks for watching this tutorial from NextGen Digital. Hope you liked it. Please take a moment to provide your comments on this video and also do subscribe to my channel to support us. I will be back next week on some exciting stuff and videos on productivity, minimalism, as well as digital transformation. Have a great one.